So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he's... Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with just while Taka's death. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. So, look, I wonder if... Or perhaps it was... We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers! Oh, fucking missed it's again! It's true that Hifumi was killed while Taka's death. See? So it's obvious Taka came after! So, I wonder if he, or perhaps it was- We already know what Taka came last! Alright, I need to stop rushing it. Because of the numbers, it's true that he while Taka's death. See? So it's obvious Taka came after! So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Ham. No, it's wrong. Hold on. There's no reason to assume that the hammers were used in the same order as their numbers. If anything, that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. Yep. So you're saying the culprit wanted us to think the hammers were used in order. Correct. But in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi? Yep. Okay then, let's see the proof. Evidence of proofs, Taka was killed before Hifumi. I feel like there was something. Body discovery announcement. Yeah, discovery. I think. Oh uh, no, I can't. Yeah, I don't know. Um. That's coming up a lot. Okay. No, and I'm dead. Is I refuse to give up yet. So we know it's W R I. W R I T. Oops. Okay, it's not. Oh, wristwatch. Hands pointing just past six o'clock. Correct. It must have gotten broken when he was attacked by the killer. Because as of last night, it was working. Hey, you! How long are you going to keep us waiting? Tuck's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost ten o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. So if it wasn't broken after six last night, then he must have been attacked around 6 this morning. Yep. And that would be his official time of death. But if that's true, then he was killed well before Hifumi. And before Celeste was attacked this morning, which happened around 7. That's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. That simple fact slipped past all of us. 
we made the wrong assumption about the order of events, all because of those justice hammers. Which is our whole purpose. That's exactly why the culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer and had them increase in size. Yep. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make that wrong assumption. Now, if Taka was killed around six, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Because we were all because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in okay. the dining hall yet. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder, but all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. That's right. With him, at least, we're all safe. Ah! Huh? Well, why was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... Hifumi! He's in the nurse's office! This is bad. Come on, we gotta go back. When we heard Hifumi screaming, we were all together. Except for Hiro and Kyoko. So that must not have been his death. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office. And that's where we found the But his glasses have been cleaned since that point. That's totally true! We're all in the clear! Oh, I know! They must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something! Nope, not that complex. Find it later on! If that's true, where's the tape? I don't know. Don't just go making stuff up! Anyway, we all have rock-solid alibis for when we heard Hifumi scream. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed him. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. When his body vanished from the nurse's office, Hina and I were in the bathroom together, while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? And then, there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the equipment room. At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. So, Hifumi moved Taka. Well, don't forget, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time. Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did? Yeah. She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then. Even if she Two could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Hifumi's body. Yeah. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. Besides, they didn't do either of them anyway. In other words, it is impossible that any of us could have killed Hifumi or moved either of their bodies. Correct, which is why Hifumi moved On it. On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko had disappeared. Hiro we've they proved to be... Done those things. Hiro it's not going to be, because the lady doth to protest too much kind of thinking. Kyoko might have done it. Yeah, okay. So what now, Kyoko? However, she seems to be his sidekick. For now, we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. So instead of who, I propose we start talking about how. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. On the dolly. That's true. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain uh, his Hifumi. body disappearing. And according to what Celeste said... We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two. So then the killer was able So then the killer was able to get in and move the Fumi's body in that short amount of time? It would seem so. His body apparently disappeared in the one minute her and Hina took their eyes off of it. But to carry that much weight from the first floor up to the third yeah. in that short impossible. amount of time? Oh man, yeah! There's no way! It'd be impossible! Correct. Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? Because although you can't move it, he can move himself. What? How? If the dead body yep. were to move itself. There we go. The, the dead body mo moved on its own? Not like Rick and Mortosis, though. Like it was alive. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with the occult. I think what she's implying is, we thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality, he was still alive. Bingo! He was... alive? Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, but simply walked out on his own? But I mean, we found his body. No, you found him, a him lying on the ground. Perhaps he was simply playing yep. dead. That... it isn't possible. Wait. 
The idea that Fumi was still alive? Is it really possible? Yeah, the glasses. The glasses are part of it. Break your wristwatch, put me in blood stain. No, okay, none of those. So there must be a truth bullet. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? Yep. No, it is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Yeah. Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. No. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? That was thingies. Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Oh, yeah. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi, there's a chance he was actually... No. Hifumi was dead. Without... And you know that shortly you heard the body discovery announcement, Hifumi's dead body had been found. You're wrong! No, it's wrong. Yeah. Was the body discovery announcement that was made really intended for Hifumi? Of course it was. The announcement played right after we discovered his body. Maybe. But that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. Oh, I wonder. Let's quickly check the regulations. Does the killer count as someone witnessing the body? Okay. Say. First of all, if two bodies had been found, there really should have been two announcements. Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together. He's not gonna like you saying that, love. What do you say, Monokuma? Any comment? Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that it's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy bug. <laughs> no, actually, that was plenty. Huh? He said it's only broadcast when a body and is it was discovered, discovered twice. For the first time, which means even if we find the same body again later, he won't make the announcement again. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Huh? Later on? Exactly. We heard the body discovery announcement twice. Second body discovery announcement. The first time it played when we found each body in the nurse's office in the equipment room. The second time was when... Just after Fumi came back to life. Who was thrown unconscious? So it's got to be that one. I know. Shoot. Okay. Uh. Second time was when both bodies were risk. Oh, yes. I got of course. It. We heard it a second time in the repository when we rediscovered the two bodies. Ding dong, ding dong. A body has been discovered after a certain amount of time. The 
you may use however you like, class trial will begin!